Right here's an issue a lot of people experience on their Mac computer in the offline player when they go to play a track. Uh, they hear this ringing sound or this ring modulation effect on their track in the offline player uh, that they don't hear in other programs when they play the track like iTunes or any other uh, media player on a Mac. Uh, so what is the problem? Uh, well, let's demonstrate this first. You mainly hear this ringing sound on, usually just on the bass or the kicks, uh, so any of the red stuff. So here's just basically a nice big long red track. Uh, so let's just play it. And hopefully you can hear that ringing sound. That bing, 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 bing. Kind of hear it on top of it. Uh, well, that shouldn't be there. So what is the problem? Uh, well, the problem is the max sound card is set to 48 uh, kilohertz. Uh, we want to change this to the 44.1 kilohertz. Uh, so how do we do that? Well, we need to go into the your hard drive. Uh, go into your applications folder. And scroll down to the very bottom to the utilities folder. And in here, there's a program called Audio MIDI Setup. So we'll double click that to open it, and you want to click on the built-in output, and then here's the problem. That is the format that is on 48,000 hertz or 48 uh, kilohertz. Uh, we want to change that to 44,100 hertz or 44.1 kilohertz. And that's it. That'll solve this issue, and it'll get rid of that rigging sound and the offline player. So let's play it again. And there you go. You don't hear the ringing sound anymore. And just to uh, show you the difference, so it's on 44. Uh, 0.1 kilohertz right here. Let's change it back to 48 and then you'll start hearing that ringing sound again uh, Like so Hear that ringing sound Yeah, don't want that. It's quite annoying. So just change your uh, output format to 44.1 kilohertz And there you go. That'll get rid of that annoying ringing sound in the offline player in Scratch Live